Okay, everyone. I guess I've put it off long enough. I I, I should go and meet Keep and Laughing. Uh, yeah, this cut is telling us that uh, he has the pot you have long sought. Unfortunately for him, his statement is inaccurate because I have not long sought a pot. All right, this is the magic shop, and oh, oh, voi vitunama. You know what? I, I, I I'm sorry. I'm not. I, I no. I, I can't even. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and say what he actually means. People have asked me why I don't like keeping laughing. And, you know, if you just kind of ignore what he says and click click through his messages, I guess he's not so bad. I mean, yeah, he's... he. His problem is he tries to be too funny. Like, he can't say anything about making a, a stupid pun or a, a, some kind of weird joke out of it. And... Yeah, I guess that's not necessarily a bad thing, but... It, the act kind of gets old after a while. And I know you don't even have to talk to him that much, but I just... I'm sorry, this picture is just too much. I mean, I know he's wearing... A, obviously, he's wearing a fez in the picture of him, but then the... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say what he means. I'm not I'm not going to bother reading his lines. I did enough of that in the original Quest for Glory 2. <clears throat> this means, Hello, how are you? This means, I am pleased to meet you. This means, Welcome to my magic shop. This means, I am keeping laughing, proprietor. I am proud to know you. Shapiro always hopes for heroes. Okay, I can read that line as is. This means, a rope can be very useful. This means, I happen to have a magic rope for sale. Thank you for stopping talking. So, the magic shop isn't too much changed from uh, from the original game. There's still all the basic stuff. These are beer steins there. Wings, boxes... Um, still not sure what a Megusalem is. Um, you know what, I, I have the feeling that the music volume might be a little bit loud here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down just a little bit, just while I'm I'm here, because the magic shop music I mean, the magic shop music is okay. It just might be a little bit loud over my talking. I feel like it might be a bit loud. Balloons, uh, Rosella hand puppet, a dragon hand puppet, a cookie monster hand puppet, and uh, indeterminate hand puppet of some yellowish, sickly yellowish color. Antwerps. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of just not dwelling on this because I already went through uh, I went through it all last time. Uh, one thing that's a little bit different here though is uh, you can click the hand on things to get a description of exactly what it is. So for example, this is the Dobry Pills boy. This is just them. Oh, nuns. Um, hoods? Or whatever you call them. I don't know. The nun's habit I think is actually the black robe. So what do you call that white hat kind of thing that nuns usually wear. I don't know. But remember this thing that just gives you the question mark for the description? If you try to click on it, it says you can't get that thing, whatever it is. So even that, you can't get a description for. These orbs look vaguely familiar. You can't get the orbs, even though they're obviously eyes. Whoopee cushions. Uh, yeah, a, a CRT, or a TV, as the game calls it. Fan. All right, and then this thing, whatever it is. The octop it's an octopus-like thing with wings. And as usual, yes, the back wall of the shop is painted on. All right, let's go ahead and talk with Keepin' Laughin'. This means, what's new? Um, let's go ahead and talk to him. This means, my name is Keepin' Laughin'. Um, this means... Paying attention to the news is good. Uh, oh, yes. We're supposed to ask this guy about fish. Why don't I go ahead and ask him about it now? Aziza warned... If you ask Aziza about keeping laughing, she cautions you not to ask him about fish. So, of course, we being the terrible people that we are must do exactly what Aziza tells us not to do. I'll go ahead and read this because I asked for it by typing it in. Oh god, it makes me eel when people carp and wail just for the halibut with no porpoise. I'm net that kind of buoy, see? I sure tired of gills in school with their tails of roe. 
Coral Bob and Brian made me say this. Tanks are rising to the bait and falling for it hook, line, and sinker. We're really fishing here, folks. Yeah, okay, I hope you people enjoyed that, because I'm never doing it again. Alright, this means Shapir is a nice city. Uh, this is him talking about his magic shop. So, let's see, what does he sell? He sells Detect Magic and Trigger, which we already have. Force Bolt and Levitate, which we don't have. Dazzle, which we do have. Okay, so we can buy some of those. Oh, he even tells us about all the different spells. Um, so, Force Bolt is basically just that. It's a, a bolt of energy that can be used to apply uh, a pushing force. Dazzle, we already know that. Trigger basically triggers whatever... Um, whatever has already been set up to be triggered with the trigger spell. Detect magic, detects magic, simple enough. Levitate lifts you up into the air. Flame dart, uh, yeah, right, fetch, lets you pull things towards you. Zap a lot. Zap is basically for, um, oh, he doesn't carry the zap spell. Doesn't matter, we have it anyway. And reversal, um, so we can't buy the reversal spell from Keep and Laugh, and you have to actually earn it in the uh, WIT which we will, eventually. Rope. Um, rope is mostly useful for thieves, or at least intended for thieves. I guess it's useful for any type of character. Um, magic users are supposed to use levitate. Um, Burma shave reference. Alright, so basically this is him saying that the, the rope is um, very useful. He tells us that he'll sell it for 12,500 centimes. For a limited time, though, it's only 125 denados, which is exactly the same thing. Apparently he thinks we don't know math. Oh yes, the infamous glasses. Magic. Yes. This basically means magic is everywhere. Alright, what's next? Uh, the fountain... Yes, the, the fountain contains water. The Adventurer's Guild, uh, the Plaza of the Fighters, is where you'll find the Adventurer's Hall. This means Aziza lives at the east end of Shmali Tarek. You should behave yourself when you talk to her. Oh, and apparently we can ask about the rumor again. Oh, because the rumor pertains to Aziza. All right. This means WIT is located in the city of Shapir. You need magic to find it. She's very good and very, very bad. Alright. Astrologer. This means the astrologer can be found at the end of Tark of Stars. We've already located him. Uh, it's actually mildly amusing. Okay, perfect person. So that's actually mildly amusing, but I'm not going to bother reading it in the, in the voice because that's stupid. Desert. This means the desert is hot and contains sand. It is also dry. Oh boy, we can even ask about the different type. Oh, he just tells us about monsters. This means there are monsters in the desert. You can ask for information about them at the guild hall. Alright, and Rasir. This means Rasir is very bad, and you may need to. Uh. Uh. Intervene. Yes, that, I'm sorry, that was what I was looking for. You, you may need to intervene to ameliorate the situation pertaining to Rasir. I like to use the word ameliorate. I do tech support, so I use it a lot because people don't know what it means. I tell customers, you should do this, it will ameliorate your situation. And then they hang up satisfied because it sounds like I told them something technical when I didn't. Alright, um... Num, 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 num. So let's go ahead and make a purchase. So we can buy the magic rope, which I won't buy yet. I may not actually buy the rope because it's not all that useful. Since we have a levitate spell, let's go ahead and... Let's see, I think I can bargain him down to 26 for levitate. This means I'll be back with the levitate spell in a moment. Silly me, I hid here the whole time. Abracadabra and didgeridoo make the thing appear for you. Yes, here you go. Hope you're happy, Pappy. All right. Yes, you read the scroll and the spell is ingrained in your mind. Similarly, let's go ahead and buy the force bolt spell. And I think I tried it and I could bargain him down to 17 denatus for this. He says the same thing again. He'll go looking for it, even though it turns out that he had it here the whole time, and he can summon it through magic. Once again, you read the scroll, and the knowledge is ingrained into your mind. So we purchased the Force Bolt and Limitate spells, and our skill starts off at 50 for each of them.
which is pretty good. Actually, that's higher than most of my other spells, uh, interestingly enough. Alright, what else can we do with keeping laughing? Well, uh, oh, I should purchase these glasses as well, because, uh, let's see, can I get them down to 12 for them? He's offering to sell them for 14. What about 13? Alright, here we go. Presto changeo, rearrangeo. Alright, here we go. We have the glasses. Very nice. Alright, the other thing that we can do um, is challenge Keepin' Laughing to his game. Keepin' Laughing, uh, this is something that they added for the remake of the game. Uh, they added a game that you can play with Keepin' Laughing called Force Bolt Flurry. Uh, I'm out of time for this video, so I'll go ahead and just. The heck, I'll save my game. And I'll stop here. And in the next video, we will play some Force Bolt Flurry. It's not, uh, it's not, I don't know, I don't like it that much. It's it's a cute little addition, but it's not really that big a deal, so don't expect anything too spectacular. But I'll probably make a whole video out of it, because it, it is indeed something that they added to the remake. And like I said, I was going to try to focus on things that they added in the remake. So I will focus on Force Bolt Flurry in the next video. I'll see you then, folks. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.